everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jordan and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I haven't done one of these videos before so I hope you guys like it and if you wanna see the products that I use, keep watching. So the first thing I do is go ahead and put on some foundation. Now the one I've been using every day lately is the Tarte BB Cream. This is in the shade Medium. I really love this stuff. It gives you nice coverage but it's not too heavy so it's perfect for everyday wear. So I just apply a little bit of the foundation to my brush and I'm just going to go in and just put this all over my face. So once everything is pretty much blended out, at that point I go in with my damp beauty blender. And I like doing this because it really just makes my skin look more flawless. And if I go in and just apply it with my beauty blender first, sometimes I just don't feel like I get the coverage I want. So that's why I go in with the brush first and then just kind of finish it off with my beauty blender. So next, after I have my foundation all blended in, I like to go in with a concealer stick. Now, the one I'm using right now is this Bobbi Brown Concealer Foundation Stick in the shade Natural Tan. And what I do with this is just put on any little imperfections, any redness that I may have. I typically get redness right here underneath my eyes, so that's what I'll cover before I go in and highlight my face. And this stick is awesome because it's so creamy and it just blends so well. So I'll just put a little bit of this on my finger and then go ahead and just cover up any of those imperfections or redness that I may have. Now the reason I like to do this with my fingers is because your fingers help to melt the product so it just blends really nicely. So the next step is brightening my face up a little bit. Today I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealing Brightening Pen in the shade Nude. So what I'll do is just apply this right underneath my eyes a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then a little bit on my chin just to even that out. And I'm gonna go and just put a little bit more underneath my eyes. Now once that's applied, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend everything out with my damp beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer and my highlight that I just did with my Makeup Forever HD Professional Pressed Powder. And what I'll do with this is just put it right underneath my eyes, just where I put my um, highlight in on my chin and on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. That way nothing creases. So next I'm gonna go in with some bronzer to contour my face. The one I've been using lately is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep. I really, really love this stuff. It has the perfect color for my skin tone. And it also smells so good, so that's just a plus. So what I'll do with this is I'll just apply it on this angled brush right here. And I'm going to start just by putting it in the hollows of my cheekbones. Really important that you blend, blend, blend because you don't want to have any harsh lines. So once I've gone in and contoured my cheekbones, I like to go in with a little bit of a more fluffy brush to do a little bit more contouring on my forehead. So I'll just go ahead and put this right along the edges of my temples, along the tops of my forehead, and just blend that out. And I find it's easier to use a bigger brush while doing this. And I'll also take that and go down my jawline as well, a little bit into my neck so that way everything is nice and even. And just keep remembering to blend as much as possible. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with some blush. Today I'm using some Milani Baked Blush in the shade Coralina, and I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheek and then up onto my cheekbones as well. After I apply my blush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlight just to give my cheekbones a little shimmer to really make them stand out. So today I'm using the Mary Luminizer, and this is such a beautiful shade. I've really been loving this. And I'm just gonna use this little brush right here, the Sedona Lace Brush, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and I'm just gonna put it right on the tops of my cheekbones and just make sure that's nice and blended out. So next I'm gonna go in and powder my face. I like to powder my face after I've completely put on all my face makeup. That way I can go in and kind of blend out any harsh lines that I may have and just kind of finish things off. So today I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Powder. This one is in the shade N3 and you guys know that this is one of my favorites. and It's my go-to so I'm just gonna kind of put this on my T-zone and then kind of just make sure that everything is blended. All right, so next I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. This is one of my favorites. I do really like the Tarte one, but I'm out of it, so I've been using this one lately. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my brows, kind of brush them out as well, and just fill in any sparse spaces. So for 
eyeshadow, I like to keep things pretty simple and use neutral colors. So I have this little MAC palette that I put together with four different shades in it. One is Blanc Type, Shroom, which is a more shimmery highlight, Wedge, and then Espresso. So I'm going to go ahead and use this palette and I'll show you how I achieve my look. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to start off by using my Sedona Lace E. EB13 brush, which looks like this. It's a big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go in with Blanc Type, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. I like to do this as a base for the rest of my eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna use a crease brush. This one's another one by Sedona Lace. This one is the EB15, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is Wedge. And I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna apply it right in the crease of my eye. Next, I'm going to go in with another fluffy brush. This one is the EB13. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Espresso color right here. Now, I don't want to put too much on because this is a kind of a natural look, but I just wanted to deepen my eyes out just a little bit, so that's why I go in with this color. So I'll go ahead and just put it right in the corner and just make sure that it's really blended out. So I'm focusing this on the outer corner, but I'm also blending it in. Next, I'm gonna go in with an angled brush, just like this one right here. And this one is the Sedona Lace EB23. And what I'm gonna do is mix these two colors right here, the Wedge and the Espresso, and I'm just gonna focus this on my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take this brush right here. This one's by Coastal Scents. It's the BRC S02. I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Shroom, and I'm just going to apply this to my brow bones just for some extra highlight. I'm also going to take this color, and I'm just going to use my finger just to highlight my inner tear duct right here. So next, I'm going to go ahead and put on some eyeliner. Today, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Eye Pencil in the shade Black Brown. These things are awesome because they really last all day, and they don't really smudge. So these have been my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and just line the tops of my lash line with this product. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I don't typically wear false lashes every day. I just go with some regular mascara. If I'm going out or if I really want to make my eyelashes stand out, I will put on some falsies. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and just curl them with my eyelash curler. I think this one's from Revlon. And then apply some mascara. Today I'm using the Revlon Bold Lacquer right here in the color black. So I'm going to go in and just curl my lashes up a little bit usually like to hold it for like 10 seconds or so and also move down on the lashes as you go. I typically do about two coats when I'm doing my mascara if I'm not wearing false lashes and I'm also going to apply it to my bottom lashes as well. So to finish off this makeup look, I'm going to go back in with my powder and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this underneath my eyes just to clean up any fall away that I had from doing my eyeshadow and then I'm going to go back over my T-zone as well just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then um, one of the last steps is just to go in with some makeup setting spray. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is one of my favorites. It really helps your makeup stay on all day. And if it's like creasing or anything, this really helps. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray this on my face. I usually do, I'd say maybe like five, six sprays, just depending. Mmm, and it smells so good too. I love this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and dry off my face a little bit. And then to complete this makeup look, I'm just going to put on a little bit of chapstick. Sometimes I'll put on a lip gloss. Sometimes I'll put on a lipstick. You know, it just depends on where I'm going or what I'm doing. But just to keep things simple, I'm just going to use the Benna Balm. And this one is a nice red tint. It's kind of like a natural red tint, so I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lips. And that completes my everyday makeup routine. It's really easy to do. This is what I've been doing for... I don't know how long. I do switch up the products every once in a while, but everything I use in today's video is what I've been using recently and that I've been loving. If you guys want to see more makeup looks, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. 
and also I typically do my makeup first that's why my hair is not done right now I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so if you guys want to see an everyday hair routine also let me know in the comments below and check the links we do have some discount codes and also there will be a blog post of full details on this makeup look and I'll see you guys in my next video bye